And it's 2024 and AI is everywhere. But you know it, I know it, almost all the tools are garbage. But that doesn't mean there aren't good ones. So the list of 10 tools in 2024, which I think everyone should try at least once because it's going to change the way you work in the future. We're talking tools for productivity, tools for creating a logo, tools for building a website, tools to create videos just using AI that even has your own clone. So let's get started. If you're running a side hustle, you're running a business, you need a website. If you're a marketing team and you don't want to bother the tech team with a new landing page for a new campaign, you need a website. What if we can just use AI to do that in 30 seconds? The tool we're going to use for this is called Framer.com. There are a bunch of AI tools that generate websites. It's one of the best ones. Sign into your account and then we're going to go here, create a new project and click on this uh, lightning button on the, on the top menu here. Click on generate page under AI. So this is where this tool turns your AI prompt into a website. Very simple to use, just like any other website builder, drag and drop and all that stuff. So we're going to start with a prompt. When you first start using this block to enter your prompt, you're going to see some of the example prompts Framer has shown. Use this as a reference to create the prompt uh, so you can actually get the value of using AI versus like just pulling your hair out that it's not working for you. I'm there. Cut this out. It took me a little while to figure out how the prompt works. So it turns out like you have to give just a little bit more detail so it understands the context of your design and like the vibe you're looking for or else the results you're going to get are might not be the best. A portfolio page of a graphic designer. The page should have a list of projects delivered, plans, testimonials, and a section about the story of the graphic designer. The design should be sleek, modern, and minimal. Let's hit start. And this is the website I generated. It's not a bad start for AI to create this website for us. I wish there was more white than the blue here but again i can play around with this stuff from a perspective of ai generating a web page just like in 30 seconds i think it's pretty good and uh, you don't only get the website just for like your desktop it also has a version for tablet and phone when you do deploy your website it's optimized for all screens you can preview your website right away so it's going to be hosted on this random framer subdomain you can again change the settings you can add the seo meta descriptions and all that stuff for it to show up on google uh, you can add your domain and uh, you can also track the analog analytics of your website, how many people are visiting and from where they're coming from. But again, you can also set up Google Analytics if you want to get more analytics on your website. And here's the pricing. So $0 for the hobby project and $7 for if you want to add your custom domain and have about, expect about 1,000 visitors a month. This is, uh, to me, uh, one of the best uh, AI tools for website design. If you are an individual or a small business, however, if you are an agency and you want to do this for clients and all that stuff, I would highly recommend Wix Studio. I think it is the top line tool to do that at a scale. And let me know in comments if there's any other really good AI tool for website design I can try and I'll share my findings with, with you as well. But again, this is the one I think is good so far. Now, the next two tools will basically replace ChatGPT paid plan. Of course, if you are ChatGPT paid plan user already, I think there's still a lot of value in these tools because I use them all together. But if you do not pay for GPT plus, you definitely need to know about these two tools. They're going to really elevate your AI game. So first we have this tool called Microsoft Co pilot. It's just like ChatGPT, except you have certain different categories of tools here, which you can use for custom things. For example, coding, travel, creating, comparing, and all that stuff. But what I like using Copilot for is their feature where you can upload images. So I can basically make AI my design assistant. Let's say I'm a business owner, I'm on marketing, I work on social media campaigns, I'm drawing posts for social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, I have images, I'm doing stuff on Canva, but I do not know if my content, if my design is good or not, because I'm not a designer. So what you can do with this tool is you can upload your graphics you can upload your landing page for example uh, i'm just going to use your landing page of map this i'm just going to say roast the design of this landing page and it's going to give you feedback you may or may not agree with all this feedback at least if you're talking to somebody and you're getting new ideas you're getting new perspective and new way of thinking so you can leverage that along with your own insights to figure out where and when you can change your design to make sure whenever you go live with your design assets you submit it to your team your clients your own business at least you're a bit more polished and you can really stand behind the work you did like as a marketing designer i really like using this tool it's completely free i did not even sign up a website called copala.microsoft.com and the next one is a really powerful ai tool which is making quite some waves i'm pretty sure it's going to be really popular if not already by end of this year it's called perplexity just imagine like chat gpt and google having a baby it works just like chat gpt where you can ask it any questions but unlike chat gpt where chat gpt is making the answers using ai what this tool does is that it's going to generate the answers using the material 
materials available on the Google. So it's going to reference the stuff that's already written on Google and leverage that content in its answers versus just making things up from its own imagination. And then unlike ChatGPT, where you don't have access to the internet and you're on the paid plan, this tool actually talks to the internet. So you can get results in real time. For example, I'm just going to ask it to give me the key takeaways from Meta's Q4 2023 earnings. And now I'm getting the results, which were just released a few days ago. And it is referencing to all the sources where it is pulling data from. And that is not the only feature I love this tool. The other feature, which is super useful, is that you can upload PDFs. You can add a PDF up to three per day on a free plan. And you can ask this tool to summarize the PDF, to get you insights from the PDF, or just ask any questions from the PDF. There are a lot of tools out there that do that. Chat GPT Plus do that. This is the tool that can do it for free. And just like any other tool, there's a free plan, there's a paid plan. So if you're a power user, you can jump onto the paid plan. The free plan is super generous too. I have not had the need to upgrade to the paid plan for this tool just yet. So let's look at the best tool to generate videos using AI. It's called RunwayML.com. This tool has been out for two to three years. They had a lot of features before. They're removing an object in the background of a video, changing the background scenes and all that stuff. But for the past year, they have been really advanced. There's some really cutting edge technology that they've been building. So let's take a look at it. I also have a tutorial on how to do this exactly uh, in a separate video. So if you're interested, you can go check that out as well. But let's take a quick look. This is RunwayML.com. As you can see, there are a lot of tools here that you can play around with. What we're going to do is generate videos using either text prompt or using images. As you can look here, all these videos which are in their showcase are all generated by AI. There have been some crazy examples on YouTube and Instagram where people have generated full featured like short films just using this tool. People in Hollywood are some serious threats. Okay, anyway, uh, let's start with the Gen2 model, most advanced model for creating videos using AI. So you can create videos directly from text where you can input a text prompt just like we did for images or you can create a video directly from an image. So let's look at that part for this video. All you have to do is upload an image to this tool and you can either just hit generate four seconds or you can go to motion brush. So motion brush is a feature where you can fine tune where and how you want the video to be made. All you have to do is like select the brush and you select the area you want to move and then you select the direction. So you see on here, you can have horizontal, vertical, proximity, ambient. So this is where you control how the object in the image will move so that can turn into a four second video. So the limitation here is that every time you do this, you're gonna get the four second video, but you can extend the video to up to 16 seconds. So you can get a 16 second sequence off of same image. Of course, you can re-upload the image and do it a different way and all that stuff. So give it like 30 seconds to about a minute or so. And this is the result we get from just a quick, simple motion brush without any thought process. Now it looks like the boat is moving and the hot tub is boiling. That's pretty cool. I think this is a really powerful tool, literally the best out there. There's another one called Pika.art, but I think Runway ML is much better than Pika.art, even though Pika.art is also pretty good. There's a free plan with limited credits, or you can start with as low as $12 a month on the paid plan if you want to use this on a regular basis. Video content isn't going anywhere. And being a marketer, being a business owner is a lot more now than just doing a business. Even for social media, you have to be a content director, producer, writer, creator, actor, and everything. Even though a lot of the part requires you, but at least one of the things we can offload to AI is video editing. One of the best tools for AI video editing, which I used in the past, is called Veed.io. Not that Veed, of course. This tool has a lot of AI features basically anything you would need for most of your video content needs and it does a really good job. One of the features that has called Magic Cut. So let's say you have just a raw video with you with a lot of pauses, with a lot of ums and ahs. With a single click, it's going to clean up your audio right away. So it saves you a lot of the time editing over there. Then you have this feature called Eye Contact. So let's say I'm looking at the screen this way because I'm reading off the script because I'm a new, I'm not comfortable in front of the camera. This tool will automatically make the correction. So instead of looking at this way, the AI will make sure my eyes look at, at the camera. The other tool that I really love in this speed is their translation and the dubbing. So basically I can have my video in English or the language I speak natively and I can translate that content with the dubbing and subtitles in multiple languages. So I can appeal to, for example, Spanish audience if that's where I think my business or my content needs to go. So there are a lot of features in this tool. I think it makes it one of the best value for money tool for based on what it can do for you. If you're new to editing or editing is now your paint skill and you don't have a lot of time for editing. One thing is that you can use an avatar to create a video instead of you, but there's a better tool for avatar, which which we're just going to get to it at the end of the video because video content is not going anywhere. More and more companies, more and more platforms are catering to videos with their short attention spans. You kind of have to master video if you love it or not. I'm sure you've heard of like Mid Journey, Leonardo, Bing, and all that stuff. Even though I love Mid Journey, I think it's one of the most sophisticated tools out there to generate images. But the sad part is it's not free and you have to pay to even try. Let's look at the next.
next best option if you want to play around with the tool. To do that, we're going to use this tool by Microsoft. So Microsoft is in partnership with OpenAI. They have a lot of synergy going. I hate using the word, but I couldn't come up with any other word. So. And this is a tool that uses Dolly 3 technology by OpenAI. What you want to do is you want to go to the website called bing.com forward slash create. This will take us to the Microsoft's Dolly image generator tool. You start off with about 100 credits. I think they reset every month. So these are plenty for anyone who doesn't use this day in, day out. I mean, of course, if you're a power user, I would still recommend using Majority and paying 20 bucks for it. It's absolutely worth it. But you can use these tools to create some really cool graphics. So I'm going to use this prompt called product mock-up decorated with tea leaves, Indian herbs, and spices with the words organic chai masala. Let's say I'm an e-commerce product, I'm working on a marketing team, I want to do some campaigns, and I just want some of those staged photo shoots, but I don't have a budget for it. So what I can do, I can feed this prompt, hit create, and let's see what mock-up images we get. This is the result we get. It even has the words, because I know like having words was a bit of a challenge for early models, but I think now they're getting better. It can actually get words to be written on these things as well. This is incredible. Of course, my journey can probably do the same as well, but if you don't want to pay for an image generation tool, I would say this is the best free option that is out there. And you might want to try Leonardo.ai as well if you're not happy with the results you're getting from Bing. And finally, it's time for one of my favorite tools, which can create logos for AI. So I've tried a whole bunch of different tools to create logos, but I think this is my favorite so far. And the best part is it's actually free like 100% free. It's not asking you to upgrade after to extract the files or to upgrade to a different plan for your old branding and everything. Let's let's give it a shot. It's called recraft.ai. It is an image AI image generation tool. You can do illustrations, you can do icons and logos. So far, at least with what I've tried, with the prompts I've used, logo creation has been the best for one of the apps that I have running. The logo was generated using this app. So once you get to the canvas, once you're logged in, you're going to see a window like this. This tool is going to generate vector images, which means the images and the results that are generated can actually be edited within this software or other softwares which are prominent for graphic design. So what we're going to do is create a vector image and we're going to go here and select the type of vector image we want. So the options are vector art, icons, logos. We're going to go with the logo because that's what we're trying to do in this video. And uh, we will just type a very simple prompt. We're just going to be describing our industry. We're just going to use a coffee shop as an example and we're going to give it a name. So these are the only two things it needs. It doesn't need any like long prompt or ever anything else for it to start working. So it's going to call it Platform 7, which is a local coffee shop in Vancouver, just using this as an example. And let's see what we get. This is the logo we're getting from that simple prompt. So it has a couple of variations in the color, as has one logo with the name and one just like you would use for printing package materials and all that stuff. If you're not happy with the logo, you can play around with the prompt a little bit, or you can just hit recraft over and over again, and it will generate you a new logo every single time. But if you're not happy with the results, I would encourage you to be a bit more descriptive about your industry, you know, niche down even further. If it's a coffee shop, you know, like organic coffee shop or fair trade coffee shop or whatever that might be, keep playing around with it. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. If you're not ready to hire a graphic designer just yet, I think it's a really, really good start for you to at least ideate on the new project you're working on. Or even as a graphic designer, you can use this for ideation just to come up with some cool concepts, cool ideas, because it can spark a new way of thinking. But yeah, once you're done, you can go here on the top right corner with export and you can export in one of these file formats and you can also change the resolution of the file you're generating and if you want to edit this further you can just take the svg file and add it to figma or what have you and you should be able to customize it even further or you can add it to like you know a photoshop tool and stuff and work with that on the platform so i've always been skeptical of a tool which can turn presentation just using ai but this was one of the first tools i tried last year in like early 2023 and it's still one of my favorite tools to do presentations using ai so there's really two things you want to pay attention to in this tool one is that you can just create a presentation on any topic. You just have to type in the topic and the tool will create the presentation on the topic. For example, let's say we create a presentation on learning marketing from Steve Jobs with examples. All I have to do is just hit topic. You can go step by step if you want to play around with the layout, if you want to play around with the outline of the topics it's going to create. But for this example, we will go straight to generate all pages. We're not going to edit anything. It would be just our simple prompt and the output from AI. This is the presentation this tool generated for us. I'm not sure if the design is by default or it actually just took like Steve Jobs esque design of like just black and white, very Apple like, but I'm pretty sure it's just by default. They're 
trying to keep a more minimal design as a starting point. I think or it might just be the theme, but we can experiment with another presentation and we will see how well it works. I really like this tool. Not only you can generate presentations just from a single prompt, you can add different file and data sources from the side. You can add images, you can add charts, you can import stuff from Airtable, Figma, Miro, like there are a bunch of different tools it integrates with and you can do that. But this is not even my favorite feature for this tool. My favorite feature for this tool is actually creating a presentation from document. So if you scroll further up when you're trying to create a presentation, you're going to see document to presentation. And if you use the same example, let's say I have a summary of Microsoft's Q4 2023 earnings reports, which I just generated using ChatGPT. But you know, it could be anything you're generating for your school project, for your business, for your work, for at a company, your manager gives you a document and asks you to turn into a presentation. All you have to do is copy the text that to the presentation tool. And what this tool will do is it will turn the whole thing into a presentation. You get all the charts, you get all the figures and the presentation is pretty darn good, at least for the first draft. Like imagine the time you're saving by just turning the document or a report into a presentation instantly. This is one of my favorite features for this tool. And the tool is free to use like any other AI tool. You're going to have a free plan. You're going to have a paid plan. So you can just look at the pricing here. But honestly, if you don't use it much, free plan will just get you by. Or you can just share this with other folks and you can get more free credits like I have so many of them. But uh, the paid plan isn't too bad as well. If you're like at a company, you can just expense it in the work if your work likes it and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, this is Tome. Let's look at another productivity tool. This is super useful if you're business savvy or even if you're a student. So the tool is called mapthis.com. What this tool does is that it, it takes all the information you provide and turns it into a mind map for visual learning and representation. Let's say I have a document with Microsoft earnings report from Q4 2023. And I want to present this to my team, to my, for my, like for my class project or for like for stakeholders, how this information looks. What I can do is I can either upload a PDF for this document, or I can just copy paste the text. And now what this tool will do is it will turn the entire PDF, basically the information, the meeting notes, the lecture notes, I will upload to this tool. And this tool will turn that into a mind map. Look, all the information we have at a glance for us to quickly visualize. So if you're a visual learner or you like mind maps as business tool, I would highly recommend you try this tool out. It's called mathis.com. There are limited credits if you're on the free plan, but if you want to use this regularly, you can upgrade to the paid plan, which is only like six bucks a month. Basically a cost of a coffee, just one coffee. And finally, it's time for one of my favorite tools. It's called Pagin, one of the craziest and most useful tools for creating video content using AI. I don't know how you feel. Some people really feel scary about this tool. If you look at it from the perspective of Glass Half Full, it has some really, really good applications. So what I can do using this tool, I can create an exact clone of myself, give it a script and create the video. For example, the video you're about to see right now is all created using AI. You can create your own avatar. There's a video here on how you can do that and how you can basically do this exact thing I'm going to show you. Or you can just take one of those existing avatars, which are very human-like. I'm going to select my own avatar and I'm going to create the script. I'm just going to write the script and this tool will turn that script with my avatar into a video. So if anybody's a camera shy, you don't have time, you don't have a video team, you can create your own avatar to create video content at scale. Isn't this hard to imagine that this video you're seeing right now is actually my AI version? I never said those things. I just fed my script and now it turned that into a video. My expressions, my facial movements, all that is right there. This tool has a free plan. You get three credits, I believe, every month on a free plan. Or short videos like half a credit, so you can like create two to four videos on the free plan. If not, you can get on the paid plan if you really want to use this videos for your sales, for marketing, you want to like do reach outs, do presentations and all that stuff. And you can just bump up to the paid plan. So leave a like if you think this was useful and subscribe if you want to know more tech and AI tips. See you next time.